want to listen to. You can, you can spill whatever story you want to to to, to, to spill. But guess what? I don't care. I don't care. See this one, Papa. They mad me. I do this stuff with him, but. Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review, the only reviewer that you should send money to for his upkeep. You understand? You understand? I have to keep myself upkeep. <laughs> upkeep. Upkeep. <laughs> so please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post. Like this video, send me money, and also roll it. has finally come to an end it feels like when jack from titanic was in the water all that went through my mind when i watched it was if she really loved him why not die with him eh eh the last two episodes which are episode 11 and 12 are here and i'll do my best to explain them in the best possible way i used best twice <laughs> yeah yeah episode 11 titled heartless which was named after the weekend's latest album and also my ex. But in this episode, we finally saw the background story of Princess and what her motives are in the show. So after realizing that her dad was the famous George, she hated him. But before her mom passed, she told Princess to not hate him, but have compassion and forgive. And everything this woman said did not even enter this girl's ear because she wanted revenge. Then we come back to the present day and see Otumba feeling the effect of having his nudes on the internet. And all I can say is, bruh, <laughs> I've been there. It will pass. If you search Prince Big Fat. But the person everyone feels and I know orchestrated the whole thing was George. So apparently he wants to now leave the party because he feels he's all alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but since Otumba has been rendered useless because his ding ding <laughs> is all over the web, they then decide to give the ticket for the State of House of Assembly to George. Just like that! So the question is, if George is winning, who do you think is losing? Think hard. Think hard. You already know. A Z. So we knew he was punched in the last episode by the policeman, but what we did not know was that my guy was punched so hard that he saw that bald guy that wanted him to join that gay group chat. Senior. And all that was on my mind was, Aziz, Aziz, don't sleep. Please don't sleep. I know what happens when you sleep. Too, oh, too late. Oh, too late. <laughs> You are for the streets now. She belongs to the streets. But surprisingly, nothing happened. And the next day, he went to see his uncle, who then told him to follow him to go see his mom. But after the outing with his uncle, Princess called him, but this time it was different. The music changed to an upbeat, horrific soundtrack. They picked up Cassie, they went to their first location, and then Princess came back and gave him an envelope with money. And they both went to another car. And at this point, I'm like, damn, this sound is low key fire. What? Thank God nothing bad is going to happen to Aziz in this episode. Who has that car? Wait. Uh, okay. Nice. <laughs> what did I expect? Is it not Aziz? He attracts punches wherever he goes. The final episode named Highest in the Room, named after Travis Scott's song and my ex. But this is where the show was like, let me explain what has been happening in the previous episodes. But before that, we now need to tell you that for the 30th time, Aziz has been punched, kidnapped, and if that's not enough, he has also been blindfolded. It sounds like something Senior would like. I don't know, it sounds kinky a little bit, you get. But Aziz won't be the only one here, as Cassie was then added to the mix, and even I was confused. Cassie then spoke on how she hates that he did not run away with her, and she obviously is jealous that he only likes Princess. So please, can someone just slap her head? Because that is the least of your problem right now. I don't even know why you care about if he likes this or that. You people are about to get killed. I know. Then finally, she gave the background story about them. She said this prostitution first started off with Princess and how she wanted to have more since she had nothing while growing up. And because of this hunt to have everything, she joined the prostitute's ring. And on a fateful day, their lives would change forever. Because at the government party, she was drafted to go into a room and sleep with a man. And the man she was supposed to sleep with was her dad. But obviously this didn't end well. Rather, it was a toxic relationship because he used her to get death on his political rivals and she was only with him because she wanted to enjoy life and also bring him down in the process. 
Oh yes, why she killed her friend was because she wanted to redeem her trust in Otumba since they were still using Otumba. And oh yes, again, Otumba's son also wants his dad position. Oh yes, they are also not HIV positive. Oh yes, how many oh yes should I say? And as I was watching the show, I realized that I wasn't made for this life. I'm not going to lie. It's too dangerous, I'm not made for it. At the end, all I said was exposed to this man who is apparently a big figure for them. They called him your excellency. But the truth was tainted a little to favor Otumba's son. Then this happened. As I said in my previous reviews, you might hate AZ like I do, but you understand that the only reason he kept staying in this dangerous world was because of his mom. And I won't lie, I actually forgot until he went to see his mom. And by knowing this, it explains a lot. You take a guy who has always been grounded in morals and ethics, and you put him in an environment where he has to do everything he thought he would never do just to save the one person he loves. What this does is it builds this toxic relationship where he definitely wants to leave but he just has to stay because how else would he save his mom? And this can be said to every other character in the show who are fighting for something bigger than them and even if they forget the purpose of the fight, we the viewers would always remember. She's fighting for her son, he's fighting for his mom and she's fighting for revenge. It was a nice show as I said, what are your expectations, drop it down in the comment section and yes, I'll leave you guys with this quote. What the hell is this guy looking at? I don't understand. Thank you guys for watching. Oh my goodness. I really liked the last two episodes because it feels like They've been building us up to get to this point where we finally eat. Do you get? It's just like telling me, you can't eat yet. Chill. Wait. <laughs> and I'm waiting. Then finally, it, you know what? It's better used for marriage. To be, but I'm not going to make that example. But you guys already know what it means. That when you marry, I won't even make that joke. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was nice reviewing every episode. I say every episode. For well, every episode that came out. Um, I would love to see a season 2, that's if they will make a season 2. And yeah, I'll be watching out for them and seeing if they would come out with a season 2 or maybe they'll come out with like another version of the show. So yeah, it was very interesting. It was good to see a different light of web series, something we definitely don't see a lot. And yeah, it was nice. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch ourselves for the next one guys. Bye. <laughs>